What are the main green flags in boys for girls? What do they actually want from you? I ask the female part of my school and my friends group to write the things they find attractive and so I outlined three of them that are pointed out the most and I'm gonna share them with you. But, 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 but there is a very important trait that I outlined in the end of the video so you better not miss out. So with that said, let's dive in. First green flag is your hygiene. Like if you sing, bro, just get the fuck out of the room, man. Even your friends wouldn't really want to talk to you if your look or smell disgusts people around you. That's the first thing we need to fix. Take a shower, stop biting the snails that look already like they were run out by a car and make yourself look fine. Some people might say, oh, I was born like this, I'm ugly from my birth, I can't do anything with that. So, if you're actually saying this, you're a total BULL SHATTER! Of course some boys are more attractive than others, but it doesn't stop you from actually taking a shower. Like, why would a girl get with you if you can't properly take care of yourself? Why would she think that she'll be able to take care of her? So actually, start using some deodorants and shampoos. So we understood that hygiene is important. Second green flag is confidence. Like if you're shy and not able to run the conference properly, that is a big problem, bro. Without this skill, you won't be able to start any relationship. So we need to fix it. Try to talk to the strangers that you probably will never see again. Try to throw in some compliments to learn how to actually use them. Just be careful with the compliments you throw because there are a bunch of rules that make them better. For example, you have to outline the uniqueness of a character of a girl by saying that your music is great and not outlining something she got from her birth and straightforward shit like I love your nose. Also, if you're confident, do not speak so much because you want to leave a little room for girls to investigate in your character. Well, the next green flag and the third one is to actually be interesting. Like if you do not do anything, why would a girl get with you? You should have interests and not be boring. Like if you only scroll through TikTok, there ain't much things to discuss with you. Start getting interesting and actually different perspectives of the world around you by always trying something new. For example, today I'm gonna try to cook something new, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do a backflip and on Monday I'm gonna do skateboarding. Boom, 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 just like that. You'll definitely find something that fits you well after some trials. And the things you try don't have to be so broad. Like for example, if you play tennis, you can also try to play squash. Maybe you'll even like the sport more. Not only will you be more interesting, but your life will be much more colorful and you'll start enjoying the process. Always move. Never stay in one place. These points are definitely important, but there is one more thing that no girl talks about. And bro, I don't recommend taking much dating advice from a girl because they don't know what they're actually attracted to. For the main green flag, we'll open a biology and psychology of women. They tend to show a lot of emotions, like about a hundred different ones, while boys only show about seven. And you need to activate as much of their emotions as possible. Make them emotionally invested in you. Damn, I used the same word too many times, but I still got what I was speaking about. It doesn't necessarily have to be a good emotion, it could be a negative one or a confusion one. Be more mysterious as if you only give compliments, they won't have the same power over some time. You need to sometimes scare, give her a boo from the closet or roast her if there is actually a topic. Just be careful with this as you don't want to make the girl too uncomfortable or be seen as a clown or an idiot. Try to find the balance. I know it may sound weird, but it is what it is. Like, do you often see this nice guy that is always like, yay, hoo-hoo, nice dress today with a girl? No, it's usually a fuckboy or something like that in school that doesn't show so much respect. So making a girl emotionally invested in you is the main green flag. In conclusion, take care of yourself and try to be more confident as it will help you start the relationship. And then evoke as much of her feelings as possible to escalate the relationship and don't be the good boy. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you in 7 days. Bye!